Yeah. Get back. Yeah, me too. Today we'll we'll talk about the uh, starting issues on the Barbie. Um, in my research on this bike, over in Europe and England, or all the places they broke this bike in in 2011 before they brought it to the states. They found a couple issues with it. Um, one was the original fender on the front was too long and it had a habit of breaking. And two, there's a compression release lever that pushes in to relieve the compression so so it's easier for the bike to start. And they actually came out with a part to fix that. Now the KLR in 08 had a similar compression release issue where you took it into the dealer, they pulled the compression relief lever off and ground off like 50 thousandths. And that solved it. Now the problem on the Certeo is it was too short. Now, since I discovered all that, I ran into another Certeo owner on YouTube that was having uh, starting issues. And his dealer ended up replacing the, uh, the computer on the bike. But his was intermittent at first, and then it stopped completely, stopped working. So I've already brought this issue up with my dealer about this bike doing this shit. And I even talked to the head mechanic And I believe, I believe him when he said he went over it and he couldn't get it to do it. So then he scanned the computer three times and it had no trouble codes in it. So as it sits right now, when it's out at the dealers, it doesn't have an issue so consequently, they can't fix it. So I continue to um, videotape these. Or not videotape them, you know, I'm, I'm videoing them and I'm compiling them. And eventually I'm gonna send it out to them And they're going to have to, I don't know what they're going to do. I don't know what to ask them to do other than, you guys got to figure out what the fuck is going on with this bike.
and there's nothing I can do to get it to do it because it's so freaking uh, intermediate and random. I, it, it doesn't do it only when it's cold because it's done it when it's hot. Um, usually, a lot of times, if I start it up, and let it run for, I don't know, five, 10 minutes maybe, five minutes, and then shut it off, and then try and start it up again. Then it does it. I would have to say that's that's probably the most uh, when it does do it. But I live like 30 miles away from the dealer, and I'm not willing to take it in and drop it off and let them keep it overnight. So. I'm kind of stuck with it right now. And like I said, I used to be a service rider a long time ago. So I, I, I see their side of the fence that I'd have a customer bring stuff in complaining about this or that and then when we try to replicate the problem it doesn't do it we can't fix it and the customer logically gets frustrated because he doesn't want to hear that shit I don't want to hear it but from the mechanic side of the house, it can't fix something that's not broke. Uh, this last one that I put up yesterday, the starting issues, I, uh, I was right outside AutoZone, and uh, so I pushed it out in the street, and I parked it, and then I went into AutoZone to see if I could uh, buy a gel cell battery, see if they, they stocked a gel cell battery for this, and uh, they didn't, and the guy's like, well, I can jump you. And I said, no, you don't, you don't know what you're getting into. I gotta take off like 12 screws to get to that friggin' battery. And I said, let me go out and try it one more time. So I went back to the bike and bang, it started. just like there was never an issue. Um, there was one time it did that and I cracked the throttle wide open and hit the start button and it fired right up. Um, That last video I put up, I tried that and nothing. Usually when I when it does it, it half ass backfires. I mean it's not a bang, it's more of a a squeak and a poof. And I'm not familiar with that sound. I've never heard that happen in a car. 
so I don't know what quite to make of it. Come on, you fucking retard. You're too afraid to pass the goddamn street sweeper. Why they're paying to have these guys out street sweeping when the leaves are still falling, I fucking do not know. everybody's uh, try this try that ideas I just think this is something uh, that BMW is gonna have to figure out fucking thing is such a pain in the fucking ass. And why do I pull the clutch in and put this thing on? Well, I'll tell you why I do that. Because if I try to drive off of it with that on there, I'm gonna hurt it. But unlike some other people that ride, when I start a bike, I usually pull the clutch in. So if I go to start it, that's when I'm sitting on it. If I go to start it and I go to pull the clutch in, I know that that's on there. <laughs> 